hello everyone so welcome to a new video so in this video we'll see uh, how we can configure the opc server for an ac 800 m plc so i have an ac 800 m pm 866 plc and i have this uh, ethernet cable connected to my pc so we'll see how we can configure an opc server and uh, to show you an example we will uh, make a small program uh, and we'll see how we can connect this uh, PLC to a uh, Siemens WinCC SCADA system through uh, OPC okay so uh, so to do this <coughs> we are using this uh, combat control uh, builder for AC 800 m and uh, uh, during this uh, installation like when you are installing the software uh, you need to install this OPC server for AC 800 m so once you install this uh, you will find uh, the OPC 800 OPC server for AC 800 m installed ok first let's make a program make a new program let's call it as OPC test and I will put my controller PMA double six so I, I have already set the IP address this is my IP address similarly I have to change here ok so we will just uh, we will delete all this what I will do is like I will make uh, three uh, three boolean variables like let's call a b c ok I just made three uh, boolean variables now I will make one integer maybe two integer so it as an integer also an integer ok so let's do a download to this PLC ok so now uh, I have created <coughs> three uh, three boolean variables and two integer variables so now uh, I'm just uh, making an example program like I'll I, I like to show you how we can take this uh, variables to the uh, WinCC scatter system through OPC ok so this part is done the PLC side is done now I have to run the OPC server so so the OPC configuration is uh, easy like you need to open the software 
and give the address uh, the peer, uh, IP address so the, my IP address is this one 192.168.181 so give that okay so if your connection is successful you will get a smiley like this so you can minimize this so now I have OPC server running and my uh, PLC is also running I have a program inside so so now let's uh, create a SCADA system so I'm using TIA portal to do this so I'll create a new project so add new device so I'll go for semantic HMI application I will use WinCC runtime advanced okay so uh, first let's make a connection with this uh, WinCC software to the uh, PLC uh, through OPC okay so to do that uh, go here in connections let's make a new connection so we we'll call it as um, OPC test okay so here you need to define uh, how we are going to communicate with the PLC so I'm using OPC okay so if you go down you'll find this uh, local server so expand that it takes a while to load because it's checking for all the OPC servers installed on your laptop so I, I am going to use ABBAC800M OPC DA server which is the one that is running right now so just double click on this so that's it your connection is done so now we have to add the uh, now let's create tag okay so uh, in this let's make a new tag let's call it as bool1 and uh, here use the connection that you just made opc test and now uh, the connection is done to this tag now we need to show from which address you are going to read this uh, tag value so again this will take some time to load up okay okay see now it now I am connected to this uh, PLC the OPC DA server so I have my program here so this is the uh, variables that I created in the program so once uh, you need to add something new you what you have to do is like you need to add uh, add add whatever values that you want to take to the SCADA system in the program do a download so that it appears in the OPC server so now I already did the download so I have uh, three boolean inputs and two integer output two integers which is what I created here a b c and integer 1 and integer 2 okay so now let's connect this uh, tag so I will connect a to this tag bool1 we'll create one more bool maybe two you can give any name so I'll connect b to here okay so now let's uh, add the integer one so I call it as 
analog one I'll use this one in DJ one okay so okay so I'll use this uh, tags to make a make a screen now we will do an add new screen uh, we will use this properties then so I'll use this HMI tag so the I, I will I'll display this integer value here so I'll use this analog tag to show the value here okay so now let's add some elements uh, and I'll connect the tag so insert the animation I'll add new animation appearance So bold one here then you can create a uh, what color so when the when this bold uh, value is one I will display it as green okay similarly I'll do this for here so I'll connect uh, bold to I'll do the same like or I'll give a different color okay so in bold 2 is 1 it will show red okay so now let's run it okay so now everything is zero so what we can do is like we can force something from the program So let's force this so it became green so this became red now to show the analog value I'll give some value like 50 so it comes here so this is how uh, we can use AV, uh, the OPC uh, server to to take the values from the PLC and you can use any OPC client to connect to the OPC server it's so like the OPC client that I used is WinCC SCADA system and uh, this is how you this is just an example I showed you can use any SCADA system or any software which has an OPC connectivity and take the value from the server so this is how small video how we do the OPC configuration and use it to connect to a scatter so again thanks for watching this video have a good day